What's up, LD Shadow Lady here, and welcome back to Empires, where construction resumes in my not so secret tunnel. Because you guys left me plenty of suggestions for more themed sections of the tunnel, so let's give the rest of this ugly tunnel a makeover. The first theme I'm going to build is a dungeon theme. I love this suggestion. So here are my supplies. And I'm gonna start by making the walls all cobbly, just like a well-generated dungeon, like so. And now to make this a little spicier, I'm gonna remove all the torches. This is dangerous. Mobs are gonna spawn, but don't panic. I have a plan. These slabs. This is gonna make it so that mobs don't spawn in here. Now to make this extra dungeony, I'm gonna add a few things. First, a loot chest. Then I'm also going to add a booby trap. Yes. So right here, I'm gonna add a trip wire. So anyone traveling through will activate the trap. And to disguise this a little better, I'm adding these alcoves all along the tunnel. Whoa, that was nearly dangerous. <laughs> and that also makes it really easy to hide these dispensers. Now all we need to do is hook up the redstone behind the scenes here. And we have a fully functioning trap. Oh my gosh, that's kind of dangerous. Somebody could get hurt. It's perfect. So let's move on to the next section in this very dangerous part of the tunnel. Here, I'm going to go for a dripstone cave theme. I'm so excited for this. I've never used dripstone before, which means I don't have any. But do not fret because some of my lovely ocean masons actually trade dripstone for emeralds. So that gives me five stacks of dripstone blocks, but I'm also going to need some pointed dripstone, which unfortunately my villagers won't trade. But perhaps there's another way. I hear that there's a dripstone farm in Pixandria. So maybe Pix will trade me some pointed dripstone if I give him something in return. Aha, a trade has been offered. Pix just wants two turtles. So my mission is simple. Recover some turtle eggs. Aha. Two perfect turtles. I almost just died right in front of them. Please make some babies for me. <gasps> Thank you. Yoink. I must deliver these urgently to Pixandria. This place is looking a little different. Seems like Zornoth really got his tentacles into your empire. He really has. I managed to petrify them all by striking them with lightning, and then twice as many came back. Whoa! <laughs> so, yeah, I, I have a bit of a tentacle issue over here. Uh, so I gather that you are in need of some pointed dripstone? Indeed I am, and I gather that you're in need of, rather specifically, two turtle eggs. Yes, I have some plans uh, that involve turtles. I'm thinking about populating the river over here with them, actually. It seems oh, okay. like it'd be quite quite a nice turtle environment. Don't worry, nothing nefarious. Oh, good. But yeah, I've, I've started to uh, terraform the river a little bit. So the salmon that unfortunately are here in rivers to the annoyance of, of the Godfather, they, they need a bit of company. And so I'm thinking we can probably uh, bring it to life a little bit more with some turtles around here. Yeah, you know what? You know what could take care of the salmon problem? Yeah. Axolotls. Ah, that's that's also a cool idea and mm -hmm. very colourful as well. So yeah, maybe yeah. I'll bring you a couple as a little gift. That would be lovely. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, in the meantime, I need to take you to uh, the haunted cave where I grow all the dripstone. Oh, cool. So down here, this goes Ooh. down to my dripstone farm and my lava farm. Wait. Yeah, if you want any lava anytime, I have a lot of it right now. I didn't even know you could put lava in cauldrons. Uh, you can now. Um, if you put lava above it, a dripstone block, and then the pointed kind, it drips down into the cauldron, and in about 20 minutes' time, it fills up with lava completely, and you can collect it in a bucket. That is amazing. You are the resident mad scientist of this world. <laughs> There's a little farm for it around here that Ooh. it slowly grows over time. All I need to do is AFK, and so if you check out the chest in there there are about six stacks or so um so take as much as you want if you're if you're delivering wow. turtles to me then that's all yours fabulous can i take one and a half stacks please that would be perfect yeah yeah go for it yes. thank you very much and here are your <laughs> turtle eggs thank you very much i will take really good care of them lovely okay i'll come and visit them very soon to check that you're taking good care of them and i'll bring you some axolotls to take care of that salmon problem all right, perfect. Thank you so much, Ocean Queen. Goodbye, Ocean's Blessings. Now I have everything I need to transform this section of the cave. 
Okay, actually this looks a little bit basic. So I'm going to dig into the walls a little bit and make some little alcoves like this. And then I can put the stalactites in here like this. Wow. And we should illuminate this place with lanterns. Wow, this looks so cool. It kind of reminds me of a place in the Philippines where there's an underground river and it's full of bats. So I know this sounds kind of crazy, but I think it would be really cool to try and trap a load of bats in here. So I've got my leads and I've turned on my sound subtitles so I can detect their supersonic squeaks in the caves around me. Okay, I found a cave. Oh, geez. <gasps> Bat! Oh no. Oh no. No! I just want the bats. Ah! No! A bat died, but one remains. Yeah. Oh, he got away. All right. Okay. Oh, wait. You can't put a lead on a bat. Well, that's bloody devastating. What am I gonna do now? Oh, diamonds. Oh, at least there's something good in this world. Okay, moving on. I'm feeling dark now after that disaster. So this next section is going to be deep slate themed. So let's get rid of this basic stone walls and replace them with more formidable looking deep slate. I've been saving these little redstone patches for a project just like this. This is very dark and mysterious. I like the sinister vibes. But we must move on. Now for my next section, I'm going to perform a magic trick. With this hair shulker box, I'm going to transform this tunnel into the end. No, look away, you're not supposed to see this part. Ta-da! It's just like being in the end, but not as many endermen. And then this transitions naturally into an end city. So, here I have my purpose for the purpose of this build. <laughs> Ta-da! Then we replace all the walls. And then to illuminate this place, I'm going to use these end rods. And maybe I'll even leave a little shulker box here. And then when people go past, they can make their own sound effects. Like this. Okay, I can't do it. Anyway, moving on. The next section is going to be the crimson nether. So I'm gonna dig out all this stone and replace it with netherrack. Okay, I got a little carried away, and now this place is fully transformed into the Crimson Nether. I used these vines, some mushrooms, and I even put some of these gold nuggets in the wall. And it looks so cool in here, but I do have some shroom lights that I think would look really cool instead of these torches. Yes, this looks amazing. I love the colors, and I think it'd be cool to transition next into the Warped Nether. So this time, we're using the Warped Blocks. It is now completely warped in here, but it still looks really boring. So I've got these vines, roots, and fungus to plant all over this place. And then instead of torches, to use some soul sand and make soul fires, making this probably the most dangerous section of tunnel. So please keep your hands and feet inside the minecart at all times, or you will get burnt and die. The Ocean Empire is not responsible for any deaths that may occur within the tunnel. Now let's move on to something a little bit different, a little less deadly. In fact, I'm going in the complete opposite direction with a snow tunnel. So I've gathered all these frozen supplies. It actually turns out that Flip has this cute little snowman farm and I used it to harvest all these stacks of snow. So now I'm just placing it down all along the tunnel. And now my tunnel is a cute little winter wonderland. And that is the end of the tunnel. Well, my half of the tunnel anyway. This part down here leads to Catherine's house. So I'm gonna let her decorate that if she wishes to. And in the meanwhile, I am going to set up a little messaging alert system. So I'm just gonna sit back and relax and enjoy the very long ride home to get my supplies. Oh my <laughs> God. You pushed me behind. What? I didn't, you're using the tunnel right now? <laughs> Oh no, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> oh my god. What the heck? Yeah, no, I, I signed on. I was like, oh, I want to see what she decorated. <laughs> but this freaking thing is so long that I've been traveling back for like 10 minutes. 
So it doesn't really work as a two-way tunnel. I did not expect to be running into Catherine along the track like that, but I do want to make this work for secret messages. So I need to make a few little changes. I'm going to replace the current system with a detector rail which powers a sticky piston. And then this sends a signal and the signal is carried all the way up to the top. So now when a minecart arrives on the detector rail, you'll hear the bell at the top to signify that a message has arrived. Now I just need to build one of these annoying contraptions at Catherine's end too. And we can send messages to each other using these minecart chests. So now here at Catherine's base, when a message is received, it will also send a signal up to the top via this very ugly redstone. And it will alert Catherine that she has a message. And she's now built this miniature version of my empire on top of where the minecart ends. Now let's just do a little test to make sure that everything works okay. So off it goes. And I will take the overground. And if my calculations are correct, by the time I arrive home, there should be a message waiting for me. There is not. Where is the message? Aha! I wonder what it could be. Oh, it's my cobblestone. Well, I am so pleased that my tunnel is working. And I can now send secret messages to Catherine with nobody else knowing. And I can now leave my tunnel safely because the eye of Zornoth has disappeared. I guess he didn't like the view. Hmm. Well, that is it for this episode of Empires. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time.